My pal Kyler behind the camera owns a PlayStation 2, but it gets really loud, especially when he tries to stream Jack 2. Isn't that right? I've definitely done that. So we're gonna try to fix it with some liquid metal, but first we need to get testing on how it actually sounds before we do anything to it. My friends, today's video is sponsored by Best Buy. And I know that you think you have to buy a gaming laptop when it comes to getting a good gaming experience, but that's actually not true anymore. You can buy a Chromebook and get top of the line gaming experience, including at 120 Hertz plus, because there are cloud gaming Chromebooks out there that allow you to have high refresh rate screens. They have an ethernet port built in with Wi-Fi 6E so that latency is minimized. You look at something like Acer's Chromebook 516 GE cloud gaming laptop, you also get 2560 by 1600 resolution, 100% sRGB coverage, 16 by 10 aspect ratio, an Intel i5 1240p processor with eight gigs of LPDDR4X RAM and 256 gigs of storage, you have the makings of a very powerful portable on the go laptop that when you combine with something like GeForce Now's top tier membership, you actually will get high refresh rate gaming on the go. Minimize latency, clearer visuals than ever before. I'm a huge fan of GeForce Now, have been since it launched. And then you just go play your video games from the home screen in just a few seconds. You get 120 Hertz, you get RGB gaming keyboards, you have GeForce Now, you have Amazon Luna. These gaming Chromebooks are something to actually behold. And with the Cloud Gaming Chrome Chromebook, you can get a SteelSeries gaming mouse and access to a thousand plus PC games with three months trial of NVIDIA GeForce Now and Amazon Luna Plus when you shop at Best Buy, who also has the price match guarantee, the total tech membership, which gives you free Geek Squad tech support for 24 7, 365, up to 24 months of product protection on most Best Buy purchases with an active membership and free delivery and standard installation on specific things, as well as a 60 day return window, which I happen to thoroughly enjoy with my total tech membership. So you can check out these cloud gaming Chromebooks at Best Buy, which will be linked in the video description. Best Buy is known for its in-store pickup or fast delivery options, either way you wanna do it. Check out these cloud gaming Chromebooks, get gaming on a Chromebook wherever you want today using the link in the video description. Big thanks to Best Buy for sponsoring today's video. I don't have any component or composite setups, so we're gonna have to do the adapter to get plugged into the back of the PlayStation out to HDMI, and hopefully this should just work. Oh, this is back in the era where you had to actually plug in controllers. That one used to be my friend's controller, so you'll notice that the start and select buttons look like they have little bites taken out of them. That was his hamster. I do notice that. Look, little hamster bites out of this bad boy. Oh, she's loud already. This is noticeable. My PlayStation 5 sounds nothing like this. That's stupid. We don't care about that. So just looking at it doing nothing, it's doing about 70 decibels just sitting here. On boot up, it gets up to 75 decibels. It's quite loud. So we figured it out. We're here in the PlayStation 2 menu. Let me give you a little hint in case anybody is ever trying to do an HDMI to PS2 setup. What you have to do is make sure, number one, there's no disc in the PlayStation because otherwise this won't work. Thank you, Kyler, for leaving Jack and Daxter in there. In order to reset the video settings, you press down X, down, down, down X, right X, and that will get you to reset your video settings and then bring up the PlayStation 2 via HDMI because it has to specifically be on the YCB PB CRPR peanut butter. Anyways, oh man, this brings me back. Is this up to date, Kyler? Is your version, is everything? Let's see what you got on your memory card. Jack 3, SSX 3, very nice. And how big are these cards? They're what, 16 megabytes? Eight. Eight megabytes, and this is an official PlayStation 1. I think they did go up to 16. You know what, we're just, we're gonna go with the greatest game that changed my life forever, Kingdom Hearts. Also, they used to have memory card slots, in case you had a game-specific memory card. Well, no, you, in case you wanted to bring it to a friend's house. That's brilliant. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine, when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Square Electronics, not Square Enix. Wait, does it? It's Squaresoft, I forgot about them. This is how things used to be. Heartstock, darkness, 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 darkness. darkness. Light. Keyblade. Kingdom Hearts is darkness. Light. I've quite literally never booted up this disc. You've never played Kingdom Hearts? Oh man, this would look so much better on a CRT. Oh, I forgot how these feel. Yeah, so the DualSense has these like little dimples in here. This is something else, but it's so familiar in my fingers too. We have to wait till it's like actually rendering the game to take the sound of the PlayStation. 
Can't you skip this? No, you, you have to watch the intro FMV. It's the law! So we're at 70 decibels just playing the video. It, it'll get there eventually, just wait. Oh boy. Like this was good back in the day, but I like I played the, what was it, 2.8 on the PlayStation 4 and it looked and felt better than this. But this was revolutionary for its time because it had real time action. Oh, but you can't save everywhere. So we'd have to get to a save point. Oh, those are noises I remember. Gotta fight the Heartless. It's R1 to lock on. Save point, save point, save point. Yeah, save point. That took a lot longer than I thought I was going to. I have literally never busted open a PlayStation 2. Not once in all my days. This one's from your childhood? Oh yeah, this is the same one I've always had. Seriously? Yeah. Oh wow, I thought you got this at like a thrift store. No. Oh no. This is one me and my dad used to play on together. So, you know, if you break it. All of those memories go out the window. Uh-huh. Thank you for trusting me. All right, let's start by taking off the network adapter. Oh, that came out real quick. Warranty is void if seal is broken. Are you okay with me voiding the warranty on this? Do you think it's still good? I, <laughs> I don't know if Sony's gonna honor that or not. Oh yeah, cause I gotta take that top off. That sounded like it cracked. Oh, I probably gotta take off these side ones as well. Okay, so the top cover comes off with that. There is a ribbon cable, so I gotta be careful that likely, I can't even see where it terminates. Oh, so that's probably for the switches up here. Okay. Well, we have access to the internals. When's the last time you gave this thing a good old cleaning? Never. Never. Do you wanna grab me that uh, air duster? <laughs> Let me screw that back down. Let's keep on screwing things and see where we get. This is the memory card controller section. Then we've got the fan back here. Oh, there's some, that needs to be cleaned out. That's a dusty boy. Just wanna make sure nothing is gonna get too taut and tense. And I think this is the power supply. Don't touch this. <laughs> Look at that power supply. She's got all these connections. All right, then this little section comes out. Oh, the cable for the fan is a little precarious. There's the screw. Doesn't look like there's any screws holding this plate in. We're in a very precocious position right now. Let's take this plastic protective cover off. Oh boy, that fan cable, that is small and easily damaged. Here we go. Oh, wow, look at how they're cooling it. So it's just, it's just a gunked up thermal pad. Ew. Oh no. Oh no, I was told this was copper. No. So we can't use liquid metal at all. I saw a disassembly and this block was copper. This just needs new thermal pads. Do you wanna pick out all the dust and I'll go try to find them? You just have to be very, very careful with all these ribbon cables on the side here. Do you wanna work on cleaning the plastic? We've got the frost sheet thermal pads that we used on the Steam Deck. And these are very fragile, but the good news is you'll never have to replace these. You know, I came in here thinking we were gonna use liquid metal and instead it was thermal pads. So change of plans, but things are still working out. Yeah, so there, it's just this like, I don't even know how big this is, like 60 mil fan? That's it. That's it, That's it's just blowing right here. That's what's making all that noise. This, I mean, we could probably replace the fan as well, but let's see if the thermal pads make any difference. And then we're looking good. All right, oh yeah, look at all this goodness. Power supply installed. Oh man, I sure wish I knew what I was doing. This is gonna get you uh, at least 14 FPS more. All right, so this is the cover for this. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Yeah. Oh, 
We're getting dangerously close to booting it up again. Just catches on fire, starts smoking. Just, just ignore the four extra screws and everything's totally fine. It's, it's time. It's the moment. You ready for this, Kyler? I've waited 20 years for this. You've waited 20 whole moons. Okay. Kyler, you ready? Do you want to do the honors? Oh, absolutely. Okay. The light came on. Drum roll. Everything still works. That's the good news. The bad news is that in order to get into that fan to change it again, we gotta take it all apart. Again. We gotta take it all apart again because that fan is like deep buried in there. It's only one fan that's so loud. You know, I had hopes that it was thermally bound, but I think it seems like the fan is actually just loud. So it's about one to two decibels louder. <laughs> than it was before. Yeah, it's bouncing between 71 and 72, whereas before it was bouncing between like 69 and 71. So we made it worse, just slightly. We made it louder, but you are no longer dealing with this thick mat of rubber. You have, you have thermal pads in there. Yeah. Isn't that nice? Well, now. I don't know, I, uh, that all went wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I had high hopes. Uh, number one, when I looked it up, the PlayStation 2 block I looked at was copper, not aluminum, which like you can't use liquid metal on aluminum because it will just dissolve it, it's bad. Uh, then number two, the fan is just loud and there's no changing that. Get subscribed. So I wasn't content to let Kyler walk away with a PS2 that remained unchanged. So I did some digging and actually found that we can replace the fan on the PS2. Somebody sells these on Amazon, but they're a 3D printed, changed up Noctua fan, which should hopefully reduce the noise. And then additionally, I did some digging to find out why I thought the PS2 had a copper heatsink that we could use liquid metal on. And I can't find the source that I initially saw. And I promise you, we would not have even thought of doing it had I not seen it somewhere. And it wasn't a PS3, it wasn't a PS4. I legitimately saw a PS2 with a copper heat block on some disassembly website and was convinced that this project was gonna work. But since it didn't, we're not gonna let Kyler go away empty handed. We're gonna make sure that his PS2 stays cool with some thermal pads that we put on here and then this Noctua fan. So the PlayStation is ready to go, Kyler. You excited about this? Oh, uh, tickle me excited. I won't tickle you at all. So this was the original piece that was housing the fan. You can see that it slots in just like that. And this gets it flush with the back of the PlayStation. This one, not as flush, but definitely shorter than the ethernet port cage. So it still fits, it looks fine. Oh yeah? Is it quieter though? That, well, that's the thing. We gotta find out, okay? You ready? Okay. You ready to test this out? So I'll just, I'll get this on the noise meter. We'll turn that on. Now before it was running at 69 to 73 decibels. That was the place we were at. Now let's go ahead, flick the switch. The red light does come on and we have to stay silent for this part. Okay, Kyler? What? The DVD player is the loudest part of this. That is so much quieter, actually. It's hitting 50 decibels, and that's just because the DVD drive is so loud. Here, let me take the DVD out. 35 decibels. We've cut it down quite a bit. This thing is whisper silent now. Yeah, with the, with the DVD drive making noise, it gets up to 60 decibels. So it is still noisy, but it's just the DVD drive. The fan no longer makes a noise. 51 now that it's loaded into the game and it doesn't need to run the disc right now. Now you can just enjoy the game. Your PlayStation 2 is silent now. Now you just need a CRT to play this on. Get subscribed.